All right, everybody. All right. This is Zane from Really Easy AI, and uh, this is interesting. Uh, so came across this a little while back and meant to come back to it. Uh, CNN came out with an article. OpenAI says it's working on AI that mimics human voices, and then they kind of get into the details. But I went ahead and went to the source here. Um, it's a blog post they made, so let's go there real quick. And so this is based on this blog post, Navigating the Challenges and Opportunities of Synthetic Voices. Uh, we're sharing lessons from a small-scale pre uh, preview of Voice Engine, uh, a model for creating custom voices. So it sounds like they're going down the 11 Labs path. Uh, so that's interesting. But uh, let's let's continue on. So this is from March 29th. It's a little while back, but I wanted to bring it to your attention because I, I hadn't done it, and I, I remembered I wanted to get to it. So um, here they just talk about uh, committed to safety. It says, today we're sharing a preliminary insights and results from a small-scale preview of a model called Voice Engine, which uses text input and a single, and this is where it gets weird, a single 15-second audio sample. That is an amazingly small sample to generate natural-sounding speech that closely resembles the original speaker. It is notable that a small model with a single 15-second sample can create emotive and realistic voices. Uh, then they go on to talk about voice engine. They first developed voice engine in late 2022 and have used it to power the preset voices available in text-to-speech API. Uh, at the same time, they're taking a cautious and informed approach to a broader release due to the potential for synthetic voice misuse. Well, you know, too late. Eleven Labs has already beat you to the punch. Why are you holding back? Um, you can indemnify yourself in the T's and C's of the license agreement. We hope to start a dialogue uh, on the responsible deployment. See, this is this is the crap I'm talking about. Yes, of course, we know what the implications are going to be. People can copy voices and pretend like they're somebody else. Okay, too late. It's, it's already there. Eleven Labs has it. I understand you want to be safe and responsible, but it's already out there. Um, this You need to compete. You need to get your stuff out there. People are going to fall for whatever they're going to fall for. And as AI continues, you've got your deep fakes uh, that are going to fool people. Yeah, I get it. Uh, I do. But it's going to be the equivalent of the Nigerian email scammer. You remember those days? For those who don't remember, maybe I'm dating myself, but in the early days of email, uh, you get an email from a supposed Nigerian prince who had millions of dollars that just needed to escape and if you could help them transfer some money and you sent them, supposedly if you sent them some money, they would transfer more money to you, right? It's classic. So whatever scams are out there, there's always going to be some fool that falls for it. And usually it's going to be an appeal to their greed or something else. You can't fix stupid. I understand you want to be safe. That's fine. But there's a point where safety, particularly with AI and the way that I think OpenAI is approaching it, um, it, it goes too far. Right? And, and we've seen examples of that. Again, lest I have to repeat myself, Google's Gemini and the the you know all the fun that we had with that. So... Anyway, I digress. Uh, early applications of Voice Engine. To better understand the use of this technology, late last year we started privately testing it with a small group of trusted partners. We've been impressed. Um, and so here we go. Providing reading assistance. So here's some applications. Providing reading assistance to non-readers and children through natural sounding emotive voices. Uh, very cool. So here's an example. They have some reference audio. They got a speaker. Force is a push or pull you guys that hear can that? make an object move or change direction. Imagine you're riding a bike down a hill. First, the push you give off the ground is the force that gets you going. Let me try that again. It's kind of quiet. Let's try it again. Force is a push or pull that can make an object move, stop, or change direction. Imagine you're riding a bike down a hill. First, the push you get all right so you get you hear that voice right now let's let's that was the person speaking now let's hear the generated audio we can do it in biology reading chemistry math or physics let's go to chemistry uh so okay here we go let's see if it sounds the same salt also makes sure we stay hydrated okay hang on let's go back to the original off the ground 
is the force that gets you okay which means there is enough water in our body okay going yeah the force they... is a body for it to properly function yeah the they sound the same to me i don't know if you guys hydrated. could tell the difference but they sound the same to me um translating content this is kind of cool uh so we can do it for translation here's a reference audio Friendship is a universal treasure. It brings joy, support, and laughter Ooh, into our lives no matter where we are in the world. True friends stand by us through thick and thin, sharing our joys and easing our sorrows. Let's celebrate the bonds of friendship that connect us all across every language and culture. You'd think they could have done a little uh, audio normalization there because that one, the first one was real soft. This was loud as crap. Anyway, uh, so you hear her voice. Let's go to, uh, let's do a little German. Freundschaft ist ein universeller. Okay, hang on. Let's go back to the original. Friendship is a universal treasure. Okay, back to German. Uh, the generated audio. Schatz. Sie bringt Freude, Unterstützung und Lachen in uns. Back to the original. It brings joy, support and laughter into our lives. Oh yeah, that's unser Leben, egal wo auf der Welt wir uns befinden. Wahre Freund Yeah, that's cool. Did you even hear it it, it uh, imitated her taking a breath? That's kind of cool. Um, yeah, I mean, it, it's going to be hard to tell them apart. Uh, reaching global communities by approving essential service delivery in remote settings, building tools for community health workers. Okay, so reference audio in Swahili. Ile kazi ambayo inafanywa kwa umakini sana sana hapa dimagi ni ya kusaidia watu wanaohudumia jamii. Okay, so they're giving it, uh, giving them some uh, instructions in Swahili for health workers, I guess. These workers develop their skills, okay? And then here's a generated voice talking about, teaching them about nutrition, vitamin A, or breastfeeding. Um, let's do vitamin A. Okay, hang on. Let's go back to the original. Okay, that's the human, and now here's the generated Okay, back to the original. Okay, let's try that again. Ile kazi ambayo inafanywa kwa umakini sana sana. Okay, and now the generated. Haswa wakati wa usiku, hali ambayo. Man, that, I mean, yeah, can't tell them apart. Uh, supporting people who are nonverbal, such as therapeutic applications. And they're talking about people who are using it. Um, by using voice engine, they are able to offer people who are nonverbal, unique, and non-robotic voices across many languages. Okay, cool. Let's do reference audio. As a bilingual individual, fluent in both English and Portuguese, I'm contributing. Oh, he's got an accent. All right, let's try. Let's try uh, English. Excuse me. Can I get your attention? Thank you for your help. Okay, so it keeps the accent. That's pretty my voice to the Livox project. This recording. Nice. Can we watch a movie tonight? Could you please help me? Wow. Is intended to assist non-verbal individuals in express. So that's the human. Find my glasses. That's the generated audio. Thank you for your understanding. Wow, that is good. Okay, so yeah, and it just goes on from there. Uh, okay, wait, there's only one more example here. Okay, helping patients recover their voice. Let's try it. Current voice. Hi everyone. This is what my voice sounds like. Okay, and reference audio, uh, that's the current voice. Now we do reference audio. When you have all of your ingredients together, you are going to put the chopped broccoli and chopped banana peppers inside the bowl. And then the generated audio. Hi everyone, this is what my voice sounds like using OpenAI's new text-to-speech model called Voice Engine. I was able to use just 15 seconds of a video that I made for... Okay, so they're giving people that have problem speaking using open I lose hex so that's the current voice then they made a reference and now audio this is very from you can use so they made a reference audio from that then from then on they can do generated audio with text that's pretty cool that that's something I think is really going to help people communicate better right if you've got some you know you've got something that's affecting your speech area and you want to communicate effectively, you'll be able to type stuff out and it'll come out in natural language and you can communicate that way. That is serious. I think of all of the demos, this is the coolest one of all. I, I really like this. I love this idea. Um, who's the group that's putting this on? 
uh, suffering degenerative speech, the Norman Prince Neurosciences Institute. Okay, very cool. A lifespan. Okay, very nice. I, I love this. I think this is great. Hopefully you dig on it too. But anyway, that's where they're going with Voice Engine. Uh, they go on to say, hey, you can't have it right now. We're still trying to figure out safety. We'll phase it out because we're open AI. And, uh, you know, we're, we're, we're trying to be safe, but we, we're trying to, admit, trying to forget that the genie's already out of the bottle. It's too late. But anyway, um, that is where we're at. So, navigating the challenges and opportunities of synthetic voices. Very, very cool. Uh, hopefully, they'll push it out. But if not, you can always go to Eleven Labs and do it anyway. Have a good one, guys. This is Zane.